Hey, and welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up, everybody? And welcome to this all new video. It's been a while since I did the video. Uh, since I did my last video with the Warriors. Yes, I know we lost. Uh, that's another video for another time. So I'm here to come back at you guys with a different, with a couple of topics that's been on my mind as of late. One, this video is going to be about like Jesse Williams, um, the state of black people in America, the state of politics in America, and the state or in the state of white supremacy. All of it boiled into one in this fun video that we're doing right now. Now, I caught some of the Jesse Williams uh, BET. I didn't watch the award show. I didn't watch the, uh, the award show um, on BET. I just seen like YouTube clips because I don't watch BET award shows. So I don't, I stopped uh, messing with them a long time ago. But I caught some of the speech that Jesse Williams have done they said, I mean, I'm sorry, and it was an absolute superb speech. Uh, I fully agree with what he said uh, about white supremacy and racism in America and all that different stuff there. And I'm looking at white racists wanting to get rid of him from, um, they're trying to get rid of Jesse Williams from his show. And I don't watch uh, Grey's Anatomy. I've never looked at it. But it's just funny how black people cannot point out that we live in systematic racism. We can't point out about police brutality without being called a racist or race baiting or saying not all, but black people continuously get killed. We can't point out that we can't vote legally in different states or get the kind of jobs that we want to get because white supremacy and racism still exists in the United States. And the blacks that do make it, we're forced to concede and say, okay, because those blacks make it, that it's a problem with us. But we are forced to not acknowledge that racism prevents the black man from achieving the goals in the United States. And I'm not saying that we cannot have addressed personal responsibility, but we're being told that we need to be on some cool level stuff. So, you know, we're, we're being forced to uh, assimilate into European uh, mentality. And that's the problem with being black in America. You have blacks that are coon, that are trying to be smarter than the blacks that are calling out racism. Then you have uh, white people also pushing an agenda of not having black people to speak against racism, whether they're famous or they're a regular black YouTuber like myself, would be a fourth of uh, our freedom of speech is being restricted now. But you have white people that consistently, that's racist, that push racist logic through more media platforms than any black could do. People mad at Jesse Williams. Now, you got Fox News, a 24-hour news station. You have CNN, 24-hour news station. Even MSNBC to an extent. And they all got this in common. They make sure that they push up the racist commentators that throw racist shots on a 24-hour basis. But yet, we can't say nothing about them. You've had without, and they've, they've thrown out the word race. So the race issues have been pushed through uh, racist whites. They've pushed the racist narrative. And they try to disguise it up like, oh, there's black on black violence. Uh, there's black kids out of wedlock. So they mention these numbers in order to justify police shooting black people or black people not getting jobs. It's always the black man's fault. So, you know, Jesse Williams and other black people, like himself is right. Uh, then you have, well, let me address this other topic too, because I'm just getting warmed up. Then you have one more thing going on with the Jesse Williams thing. You got African American people, pro-blacks like myself, who are looking at his heritage, saying that he is biracial, 
so he has no business talking about it. I am looking at some of the comments from different African American individuals. Now, here's the funny part about this whole interracial thing, because it was said to me about Barack Obama. Frederick Douglass was a biracial man. He was biracial. His dad was white, mother was black, black slave. W.E.B. Boyce, same thing with him, white, uh, white father, black mother. Booker T. Washington, same thing. So I'm going to ask any of you black people this. So do we ignore those blacks because they're not 100% African? It makes no sense. Anybody that has African descent and they're talking about that, because you got people that's full black, that's cool. Let's be real. You got people that's 100% black that talks like coons. They don't give a shit about black people. Then you got some pro-blacks who, you know, they address issues, but they don't get it right either sometimes. So you have all these different issues, but as soon as somebody is biracial, then we're ready to throw them under the bus saying that they can't speak on black issues. And it's the funny part about it is most of the coons are saying that. Some of the coons are pointing out the man's heritage when they're not fighting for black rights either. So it's just all the way around mixed up. But like and share this video, people. Let's have this discussion. Peace out.